Productions here, Lisa Rogers! <laughs> okay, we all need help with this. It is the time of year when we're looking down at our shoes and our boots and we're a little bit disgusted. Because Isn't it? they're filled with salt and grime and grossness from yeah. the winter. Well, and it's winter is when you see it the most, but you know what, really all year long, a thing I noticed is, People are really investing more in their boots and shoes. Now, don't you notice there's more like real leather now? Yeah. And there's more, you know, really quality. So to me, it makes total sense that if you're going to invest in a great shoe, you take care of it. Because then it always looks beautiful and you have it year after year, especially yes. in a beautiful classic boot or something. Absolutely. Right? See, we tell the viewers this all the time. I do not follow this advice because my, my shoes <laughs> I keep are trying. brutal. 25 She's trying. years later, She's I keep trying. trying, right? You will see an example of okay, my so crazy I boots This in just isn't a Tracy's boot, but it could be Tracy's boot. You That's never know. Mine. We all have this boot. <laughs> we have a dog. We have a cat. It's not a good thing. This is time to throw this to the, to the curb. I think there's no hope for that particular boot. Yeah. But what we're going to do is sort of a three-step process. And first of all, what you want to do with your boots and shoes is you want to get them clean first and that's not always an easy thing when we're talking about salt I think that's the biggest enemy of all yeah so there's a, a, a number of different products money's worth and best sent all kinds of wonderful products on the market that can help support that and you want to do it now I'm going to show you for really deep cleaning they have liquids but I thought this was the best this is like a wipe like makeup a hand wipes. wipe <laughs> you can put it in your purse and when you get out of the car or when you notice it's there, right away you take that wipe, you don't wipe your face, you wipe your shoe or your boot, right? That is brilliant. Isn't that brilliant? And these so are like going like crazy because it's such a simple, easy thing for people to do. Mm -hmm. But if you have much deeper, deeper, you've left it in there, it's your husband, he's not paying attention, mm -hmm. that is when you need something much stronger. Now once okay. you've got it clean, and remember, what you use to clean suede isn't what you use to clean leather, isn't what you use to sh clean sheepskin. Right. There are specific products now designed with that in mind, okay? okay? And so what you really want to do is after you've cleaned it and you've done all this, these are Tracy's boots and they're really a mess, that's all I want to <laughs> say. Thank you, Lisa, I appreciate You're welcome. it. How much I do I owe you? No, no, no problem. Just cleaning um, the shoes. What you want to do then is actually you want to put some lotion, you want to nourish the leather because right. once they get cracks, they, they're over. ruined, it's over. So it's like your skin. So you want to put mm -hmm. in a good lotion, you want to nurture it. And also, don't forget, there's sometimes really ground in types of dirt. There's lots of wonderful brushes, especially for suede, because if you don't use the right brush for suede, you can actually take the nap right off the suede and ruin it. Right. You're supposed to brush it in a certain way, That's in a certain right. direction. And everything's got the direction, so it's great. So okay. now we're going to move along down the line to actually using products that are going to protect it. Okay. And very often people, in the best intent, they use a product at the beginning of the season. And that's it. Right? And that's it. Yeah. But I want you to know every five to seven sort of wears, you should be spraying again. You can't sp overspray. Oh, okay, really? you can't overspray your boots and shoes. It's really worthwhile to do it. Mm -hmm. Again, there are different products depending on what, you're, what you care. And they're also offer, which I think is great, something that you can use on your purse. How about your gloves? How about your coat, your oh, leather that's coat? Great. So don't hesitate to do that, especially with the lotions where you're trying to nourish. Yeah. You know, that's where you Keep need it. Keep it moisturized. Keep the moisture Just like in your there. skin, as you say. Now, when you move along down the line, I like we, these. I know, me too. These to me are magical. They're the like the magical white sponge, yes, right? Yes, you go from you go from just regular looking leather to this beautiful shine. And I it's know. Just, what's in there? I know. I don't like, know. What Let's talk. To, what? Who's what, in there? What are you doing? Know. I just think it's amazing. <laughs> I like We're it bad much. together. I We're really to bad it. together. Okay, so there's products, wonderful products out in the market now for sheepskin specifically to get that color back on the exterior because, you know, here's a sheepskin boot and what's very typical, what happens in the heel yeah. from when you're driving the car, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't that happen in the back of the heel? Mm -hmm. So they do have sprays with different colors you can use on suede. There's ones for sheepskin. There's easy, quick ones that are just like whatever to do to catch it up in a neutral. Okay. They're creams, there's different products, but the one that I love the most, mm -hmm. the one that where you get the military shine is the old shoe real polish. shoe polish that my dad used to use. And you know what, actually what's funny? These are his brushes. Oh, okay. They are? And look at this one. This is great. This was my dad's polishing brush That's and I've awesome. always kept it. And you know what's great? You know, you use one is for the black, one is for the, the tan. Brown. You don't use the same brush. 
depending on the yeah. color of your boot. Remember, everybody knows their dad did this, right, or their yeah. mom. So you know what? That's really important. Then you want to store them. So you want to keep their shape, mm -hmm. especially with a boot. You don't want it falling over. I love this because this is a boot shaper and it oh, has a little cool. handle so you can hang it in your cupboard. That's lovely. Which is a very good idea. These, the classics, which also help if you find, I found anyways, that when a shoe is a little bit tight around the toes, if you leave this in for a while, it helps to stretch it out a little bit and your mm. feet will be a lot happier. This is cool. So Isn't it, that it, that's great? what it does. That's how it looks like. That's right. The shoe. And it keeps the shape of your shoe. And then don't forget that in the winter, for many people, remember the old rubber galosh, and you'd look at that guy walking down the street and say, doesn't he look like a goof? Yeah. Look at that shoe. Now do it. Now <laughs> do it. But they have them in fun colors. And I thought this one was very unique because this is for a high heel. Oh, so look at this. Smart. The heel comes through that back hole. Yeah. The front of your shoe is protected. Right. Look at that. Or maybe just change to boots. I don't know. You could. You maybe you could. <laughs> but when you're going out to an but evening event, if you are event, going to a fancy do, that's, that's true. Right. You're wearing the you heels want. there. And this is nice too because often, especially the guys. Okay, women of course aren't in this, but it gets mm -hmm. sort of smelly in that boot or shoe after a while. Yeah. So this is a new product that they have, and actually, when you put it in the shoe, because of the way the nozzle is, you press it down in the bottom of the boot, and it pushes the spray to the toe. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool it's boot deodorant boot deodorant that. so there you go money's worth and best are sending yeah. you all home with a boot and shoe freshener yeah. and <laughs> fine sponge that will also be drawn for this basket of goodies enjoy